Hello everyone, Seedlink here, and I'm back with another episode of StarCraft II Unranked Gameplay. Now I know that um, I haven't actually recorded for a long, long time. I have um, just recently uploaded multiple of my videos because um, it's taken, I've spaced them out quite a bit. Not purposely, it's just because I've been continually forgetting. But I haven't actually recorded in probably like a month, and that's because um, I recorded two things, both of which are Total War Shogun 2 related, because I felt like I fixed the glitches that I had, both times a new glitch came up. Both times. Two new glitches. And at this point, it's getting so frustrating, um, I simply have to stop. I, I can't deal with, I, I can't deal with Total War Shogun 2 anymore. It's completely bugged out, and it will just refuse to record. So that's just a bit of an update, and I'll probably be doing a bit more solo Bed Wars. Um, I think the I think the last time I did this, we didn't have these new maps. Let's go over the current map. We have Abyssal Reef, which I'm still vetoing because it's hard for Terrans to defend, but it's very easy for Protoss and Zerg to defend drops. Odyssey, which is quite hard to defend at third base. Same with Ascension to Ayer. There's Acolyte, which I don't I dislike purely because I don't like I I the G I know this might sound stupid, but the geography is confusing to me. Like to me. They should have it so that this is like the pocket expand and there wasn't a base here and then you have like a ramp coming down here like if that makes sense to me to you like because it's just confusing to me to like create bases i have this vetoed i did unveto it instead veto um essential to ire just because of how big a map it is but this is still uh quite, and also this is a, a bit easier to take a third base Catalina. This right here is my favorite map probably in StarCraft II history. It's a three-player map. Um, it's very, very good for Reapers. And uh, it's it's probably... it's I think it's actually quite easy to take a third and four, third base at either location compared to a lot of other maps, personally. Uh, this one is uh, quite tricky. I don't I don't veto it purely because it's a small map, but but and it's also there's an advantage because you have an extra ramp. But at the same time, it also makes it a big advantage for Zerg players, so I can't really do Reapers on it. I'm not even going to be doing Reapers anyways since uh, I'm beginning a quite a bit of lag with this recording software when I uh, play StarCraft Two and pretty much all games except Minecraft. So. Um, I'm just gonna probably go greedy no matter what who I face and uh, if I um, face a Terran player I'll go for a new type of build I'm practicing a Banshee uh, build and uh, I actually went to the unit tester because another video I'm thinking of making sometime I'm probably not gonna make it simply because it would outrage a lot of people uh, I talked about a lot of the problems in TBT in my other video in one of my other videos um, I went to the unit tester and the Cyclone is an even worse unit than I thought. Like, it lost every single fight. Like, countless fights. And I just realized, a Banshee versus a Cyclone, the Banshee will win with ease. Like, so I've been, like, running from Cyclones. Because I thought their, like, DPF was, was good. But now if I see, like, just, like, three stim Stimulus r Marines and a Cyclone, I'm just gonna take them on. <laughs> Isn't a random person. Yeah, this lag is pretty bad. There's no way I'm gonna be doing um, ranked with this. Let's just see if he'll uh, tell me what he is. For toss. Okay, that's perfect then. The exact race I want to face if I'm gonna go greedy. Slag is really messing me up right now. eBay block. Oh, 
That's all right. I don't need to cancel it. It's not that big a deal. It also gives me like extra vision as well. They might think, what, what's the point of that? The point of it is to make it so that he can't um, make something around that pylon. No way. He's st <laughs> I'm getting so much value from my eBay, it's not funny at all. It's actually super funny. Let's go for double orbital. Oh, he's found me. I bet you it's going to be a Stargate. That's why I really need to scout it. He has no tech, so I have a feeling he's going for proxy Stargate. Because that is actually quite common. Now he's going to go for some kind of all, one base all in. Which is very likely, but a lot of people don't do that. Yep, I was I was expecting it. Looks like I just barely don't have enough guys. can tell that because of those um, things over there. Because of all those pylons, he's going to make it so like I just can't get into his main base at all.
That was a very bad spot for a proxy. We got one. I'm going to get this, which I'm fine with. I'm lagging out very badly. That's not that entertaining. They hallucinated Phoenix for almost certain. Yeah, he's expecting to be dropped again. And if that's the case, then I'll just go and use the front door. Ooh, or not. He's actually in a good position to do both. Let's record down. Is he not transitioning to anything? He's got Robo, but I don't see a Robo anywhere. It just looks like he's going mass Blink Stalker. This is not going to go in my favor purely because of the fact that I'm lagging out so bad. 
so many of my controls are not working right now. It's not funny in the slightest. Okay, no. Marauders, get in there! That is some horrific pathing, StarCraft. You need to fix your pathing game. It's like the only pathing that's actually really bad in this game is that when you click on, like, when you say tell your units to get into the medevac when you have the medevac selected, the medevac runs away and the marauder runs away. Runs away. And he just full on retreated because why not? No, no, no! I literally just said to attack, and you literally do the exact opposite of attacking. Okay, I said to create medevacs, and you had money. I'm not just lagging, I'm freaking so much, like, so many of my things are just not coming out. Like, it's one thing to just have, like, lag in terms of frame rate, but having lag when, where you just, just, where half of your commands just don't even work, that's way more frustrating. And the thing is, he's going for complete mass blink stalkers, which gets completely wrecked by Bio. But he's getting completely lucky, not just with engagements and catching me off guard, but also with the fact that my units, I A move them, and they're acting as if I just move them normally. Yeah, look, right there I A moved. I clicked A, hit it, and then it just moved command. Why is nothing coming out? You get back here, buddy. Yeah, and this one I hate a bunch too. Wait, what? The Minimac just got attacked by nothing. Now that's super weird.
I'm just going right for it at this point, and those force fields are just crushing me. Okay, no, I clicked three, and I, no, I did not click select the Marauders! I clicked hotkey three, and now all of a sudden it was my Marauders, despite multiple times me clicking on the medevacs. Man, this is frustrating. And this is lagged purely because of the recording as well. Okay, seriously, can you work? These base pickoffs is what are what keeping is what are what is keeping me alive right now. You might think, why am I getting tur turrets? It's because he has Colossus, and the turrets actually hit the Colossi. This actually might be a horrible idea simply because of... It's going right for me right now. The thing is, because I'm lagging, I can't select onto the Widow Mines to burrow them. Okay, he has almost no he has nothing left but those colossi. I might actually win this. Let's just get these upgrades because I have way too much money and I have no idea what to spend it on. Base trade time.
Is he seriously retreating? Oh my gosh, he is. I'm just creating men of excellence on the stop because I'm thinking to myself, oh wait, he doesn't have any air units, but now I realize he has he has Colossi, so I actually really need Vikings. I'm trying to fight this Viking list with just mass medevax, which could possibly work, but not in this scenario. Am I almost maxed out? Well I'm almost at my max supply, that's for certain. Okay, thanks game for lagging out so bad you don't even count my mineral income. Oh my god, this it, this lag is horrifically bad. At this point I'm not even gonna play StarCraft anymore. Like you all see how bad this lag is, right? It was not this bad when I first started. Yeah, at this point, I'm not able to play StarCraft 2 anymore. At first, the lag really, really wasn't that bad, but the more and more I record, it's just getting worse and worse and worse. Like, that game, it was just frozen for the most of it. This was just horrible. Like, that game I easily, easily would have won if I didn't have lag. Like you saw at the beginning of that game, I double engineering Bay blocked. I mean, he got no value out of his Oracle. Well, he, he got a good chunk of value, actually. He stopped my second base, but it's, he didn't kill it or anything. And I was also going for a third base. Like, he was just not only surprising me, so he was also getting lucky there. But I just had lagged so hard that... Like you saw it, when I was trying to build that supply depot, I had enough mineral income to the point where it should have been able to just... In like less than a second, I could have been able to build that supply depot, but the income just wasn't coming in, despite having SEVs full at that proxy base and having guys, at, a ton of guys at my third base, which was not mined out at the time. Like that was so much BS. I can't stress it enough. Oh my gosh. I really do think I'm not even going to be able to play StarCraft anymore. First it's Total War, now it's this. I have no idea what I'm going to play at this point. Other than just Minecraft Bed Wars and maybe some other Mineplex mini games like Turf Wars. So, that's going to be it for this recording. I'll see what you guys think. I'll, I'll listen, I'll read the comments and see if people really want to see more of this. See you later.